Hi guys and welcome back to Switch Up. Now, co-op is probably one of my favourite ways to play any game. If it's got co-op, it just goes up a few points in my book. Now, here are our top 10 co-op games right now. Check them out. Be sure to let us know down in the comments what you think of the list. If you like the content, then maybe consider subscribing. We give away a free game each month to the subscriber most active on the channel. Capcom Beat'em Up Bundle offers seven fantastic beat-em-ups from Capcom's pretty substantial back catalogue for the great price of around £15 or $20. Whilst a lot of fun in single player, this game truly comes to life in co-op. The games range from being two to four player experiences and they all are an absolute blast to play. The game runs flawlessly in local co-op, with the only blemish coming in the online co-op which is unfortunately very laggy. This issue apart, Capcom Beat'em Up Bundle is an essential purchase for anyone with even a passing interest in beat'em ups or couch co-op play. Glenn and I completed Tiny Barbarian way back when the Switch first came out. And that last boss, let me tell you, we almost literally died trying to finish this game. It's as tough as balls and it won't suit all players, but has a charismatic charm and an aesthetic that is a delight. I must admit, I love ridiculously difficult games, and this is almost where this one needs to be either bought or not. If you and your pals love a serious old school level of difficulty, then this is the one for you. If you, however, cut your teeth playing Nintendogs and taking slow strolls in the park, maybe give this one a miss. Nothing against Nintendogs, it was a great game, but yeah. Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes is a very unique co-op experience on the Nintendo Switch. The basic premise is that you must work together to disarm a bomb before disaster strikes. This can actually only be played in multiplayer and you will need to be on your game to be successful. After downloading the bomb disarming manual from the developer's website, one player will need to describe the features of the bomb to their partner who must then use this to find the key to disarming the bomb in the manual. The feeling of tension that builds as the timer ticks down towards zero is immense and the feeling of elation when you succeed is almost unparalleled. If you are looking for a different sort of co-op experience, then give this one some consideration. Now whatever your thoughts are on the developer behind Payday 2 and the slightly unusual discrepancies between the PC and console versions, Payday 2 is an absolute blast to play co-op. Whether you have meticulously planned a stealth mission, getting in and out without alerting a single person, or if you're more of a blunt instrument type of criminal, then this game may just be the perfect co-op experience for you. While one of you covers the entrance with a variety of weapons and upgradable gear, the other, up to three players, will be ransacking a store, a bank, or even a shopping mall. Police come in a variety of difficulties from bullet magnet grunts all the way up to the armoured shield carrying variety. The game is intense and satisfying. It will reward cooperation above all else. Overcooked 2 takes what made the original so much fun and refines the formula further. The basic premise remains the same, with you needing to work together to get your orders out in time and earn a high enough star rating to move on to the next kitchen. The kitchens themselves are extremely imaginative, with many obstacles that can only be overcome by working together and having good lines of communication. This game really can make friendships or break them in the time it takes to chop an onion. The ability to be able to throw food items to each other is a new addition to this sequel and whilst quite a simple gameplay tweak, it adds a new layer of strategy to proceedings. They say if you can't take the heat, stay out of the kitchen and this game is the true co-op personification of this quote. Having just reviewed this one, it has most certainly stolen my heart for the time being. Glenn and I had the pleasure of doing some serious co-op the other day. Now this can be played locally with up to three other friends. Contrary to some games though, co-op play makes some areas easier, such as large fights, as while one of you survives, the other has a chance to respawn. On the flip side are the platforming sections, which we found crazy difficult with two people. Our simple solution was to commit sepulchre and let the other player get to the other side of the obstacle course, Ninja Warrior style. What I really liked about it is the way the full experience could be enjoyed unhindered with a drop-in, drop-out support and all the upgrades being available to every player. Binding of Isaac is a game that needs no introduction, having gained a cult following whilst being released on numerous platforms over the years. But not only is it a magnificent game, it's also a fantastic co-op experience too. 
Delving into the procedurally generated depths of this roguelite's dungeons with a friend is fantastic fun and working together to bring down the hordes of depraved monsters, finding yourselves constantly outnumbered leads to some very intense moments. Whilst one of you plays as the main character, the second plays as a smaller, flying character. Whilst this does mean that player 2 cannot do certain things, such as picking up items, this is a small price to pay for the fun the game provides. The joy of moving further into the game, mixed with the dread of being the one who makes the mistake that costs you the run, forcing you to have to start again, is difficult to put into words. Whilst other similar games such as Enter the Gungeon have begun to gain a following of their own, it will take a lot to beat the warped humour and intense action of The Binding of Isaac. Resident Evil Revelations 2's raid mode, still even after all these months, is a delight. Dropping into it with motion controls and split screen is fantastic. You and a friend can work your way through missions that pit you against hordes of zombies of differing difficulties. This nets you some cash, which can then be spent upgrading your weaponry and gear. There are a ton of different playable characters in this mode to sink your teeth into, but it's the core gameplay and controls that make it so addictive. An almost perfect co-op experience, in my opinion. Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate is one of the most pure co-op experiences available on the Nintendo Switch. Joining friends to form the ultimate hunting team is great fun, and honing your hunting skills together is an absolutely exhilarating experience. Crafting weapons and equipment whilst beginning to learn which weapons will complement a partner's leads to some hugely satisfying and intense battles as you attempt to bring down some truly gargantuan creatures. Mark and I have put hundreds of hours over the years in various iterations of the series and if the series clicks with you, there are few co-op experiences that can rival it. Now my final game is probably my most anticipated of the year on Switch, despite everyone else seeming to have given up on it. Dark Souls is probably my favourite game of all time. What many don't realise is that you can take part in jolly cooperation. This can be done by either joining the world of another or allowing your own to be invaded or joined. While there are times where you may find yourself on the receiving end of an unwelcomed invader, when you do find that long lost brother or sister in arms, they can mean the difference between a successful fight against an otherwise arduous boss or a horrible defeat alone. In these moments, the game elevates beyond what most people will ever experience in single player. And for my money, this is probably my favourite co-op experience on Switch at the moment. Now, obviously this has been based on the net demo that was released, but I can't see the game going too far wrong. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Let us know down below if there are some games that maybe we missed out on that others should check out. For all things Switch all the time, keep it Switch up. Cheers, guys. See ya. Many thanks as always for watching and happy gaming.